So I've already failed at most of my goals. Um, part of it wasn't my fault and part of it is. <laughs> um, I couldn't do a vlog Monday or Tuesday because um, I ended up leaving my camera at a wedding because the photographer offered to film because I wasn't going to stay past 10. So there was that. And I also didn't go to the gym on Monday and Tuesday because I've just been really sad. I've been sad for a while now. It started with the 4th of July. When I was in Disney, I had to work holidays as well. And I always got really, really depressed during holidays. Um, the only thing that kept me going during Christmas Eve, for instance, was the fact that I was gonna see my parents in like a week. So I was packing and I was almost done with the program and there was a light at the end of the tunnel and I knew I was almost done. I remember, I remember working in Disney on the 4th of July and I remember just having the worst time. And even then, like I got to see fireworks. I lived, I worked in Disney and I got to <clears throat> I got to see wishes every night and I even got to see the 4th of July fireworks because no one is going in shops when the 4th of July fireworks are going off. So that was that was nice, but I remember calling my parents and just being so devastated. And during my, you know, I called during my break and was just so upset. Last year last year was better because I at least was you know, living with college age kids and was living with one of my future roommates and so it was it was good. It was tolerable. But this year I've just you know, Cody was in town, which was so wonderful and it was so great to see him. But it, it was almost harder knowing that he was at home sitting around while I was working than if he had been away. And I even told him, he mentioned coming up on a weekend um, a couple weeks from now, and I was like, please, please do not come up that weekend because I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'm not gonna get to see you. I'm, you know, gonna fall asleep and then wake up and go to my next assignment. And I can't stand that idea. Like, it's horrible. And so, ever since, July 4th now I've just been really really sad and I don't want to be sad like I don't and I've you know had a lot of conversations with Cody and a lot of conversations with my mom but I just it's it's just really sad and I don't like being sad but you know most people I've talked to have been saying that you know this just might be a year of being sad for me which really sucks that being said um i'm trying um i skipped going to the gym on monday and tuesday because i couldn't get myself out of bed um i just i just laid around until about two o'clock when i was finally like i need to do my laundry um but otherwise it's just it's been really difficult and really hard and I don't want to keep going through the next year like this. It'll get better. It has to get better. It has to. That being said, I am applying for other jobs now. I'm starting to job search again. I feel like I'm even more limited now that, now that I'm in Chicago especially because I would so much rather be working in Indianapolis or Indiana, anywhere. I would rather be working anywhere in Indiana than Illinois, specifically Chicago. But, I mean, I chose to come out here, so I'm kind of stuck right now. So, for those who didn't hear about my Saturday wedding fiasco, oh god, um, there was a lot of miscommunication between the company and this bride. But uh, both the photographer and I were, you know, told that they wanted us there at 11 in the morning, which translates to about 9 o'clock at night. This bride couldn't plan worth any, I want to, 
she couldn't plan. She could not plan at all. And it was very, very clear um, to me because she was just, okay. So her house at 11 o'clock, she tried to leave by 12, didn't really make that. I left about 12.20, which was later than I wanted to. So I needed to set up and you know get the camera ready, but we had to go take footage of the guys. So that, that took us all the way up until three minutes before the ceremony. Now granted, that part wasn't really her fault, but the ceremony, despite her being late, started promptly at one o'clock, which, you know, it doesn't really matter if the bride's late, it just affects like me. So ceremony ends about two o'clock, hour long Catholic ceremony. Took a few pictures, 2.30 left and followed the bus to go or their limo thing to go and get jimmy john's because they were hungry then we continued to follow them to naperville um ended up getting there roughly four o'clock but then they're telling us that like we didn't they they didn't think about parking because it was the photographer and i were driving separately from the bride and groom so that was just, and so of course, you know, we're, it, there was some kind of festival going on, so there's no parking, and any parking you have to pay for, and thankfully we found a private business that was willing to let us park there for free because we were only going to be there for an hour, and we were only film like, you know, taping the bride and groom, and then we were going to be done. So finally got out there, done with pictures by 5 o'clock. We didn't get to the reception area until about 5.45, 6. So at 5.45, 6, the bride and groom arrive as well at the reception area. Uh, the cocktail hour. Keep in mind, this is when the guests are just supposed to be milling around and eating and drinking. That didn't even start until 7 o'clock. There was an hour, so so not only does she want us driving around, you know, and, and the pit place she wanted to get pictures was very pretty, like I get that, but she didn't even start cocktail hour until seven o'clock. Um, so dinner didn't even start until eight, and we're about an hour away from our contract ending. Well, she kind of mentioned in the phone call that 10 o'clock would be the latest, like that's, that's the number that I was given, the hour that I was given, and that's what I was told. And after working 4th of July, I was like, okay, if they're willing to pay me, I'll, I'll stay the extra hour. Which, I told them, you know, this is what our rate is and everything. And wouldn't you know it, during the reception, I get approached by the dad, and he's telling me that, you know, oh, you have to stay, you have to stay until 12.30. And I was like, okay, that contract, that goes from... And a, a 10 hour contract to 13 and a half hours. There's, I, I'm sorry, I'm not staying. Like that's, that's not happening. Um, and of course the bride and groom hadn't even confirmed that they wanted me to stay until 10. So finally I, I told them 10 o'clock is my limit. And the groom was pretty understanding. The bride, I don't know if she sent her sister over to complain to me but they were calling me selfish for leaving at 10. And I was like, you know, out of all the weddings I've seen, like some people stay until, like some people stay 12 hours if that's within their contract. I haven't heard of anybody having to stay 13 and a half hours. Like it was just, it was so poorly planned. So, so poorly planned. And I, I told Sam, I told the owner because I was like, you know, I don't know if they're gonna call because they, you know, they were fair, they were trying to take advantage of me because they didn't really mention payment. They were just like, you know, we need you to stay. I'm paying for a service and I need you to be here. And now Sam is calling a meeting today with the video department. And no, it does include editors too. So I don't, he's not talking to only like the, the people who film, the videographers. But I'm like, dude, are you going to, bring this up because I mean I realize that other instances like this probably happened but don't make me look like like especially don't tell me that I did anything wrong because that would suck 
And of course, Monday, when I don't even work, I got a call from my manager and she was saying how, well, you should have, you could have stayed, you, you should have, they were willing to pay, it sounds like. And I was like, I don't even know if they were willing to pay. And I did stay and I, you know, this is my third weekend. That was my third weekend filming. <laughs> and, you know, they haven't even looked at my footage to critique it. I don't understand it. I really, I don't understand this business and I know the whole point is to keep the bride and groom happy, but there's a point too where I have to take care of myself because, you know, July 4th I was having breakdowns, July 5th on that day in the for the wedding, like every time I would get in the car, I just, I, I'm having some kind of mental breakdown, like seriously. and. I, you know, I had to leave and the photographer was supportive of me, but if the owner and my managers can't be supportive of me, and I, granted they weren't there to see me like breaking down, but it shouldn't matter. They should still support my decision because I'm a human being and there's a contract that I, that has to be honored. So this is, it's just... This is gonna be so long. It's gonna be so long.